All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's Teaching Miss Fashion. And this week, like I promised last week, I'm going to do a continuation of my gentleman rules, which is rules 16 through 30 in our uh, post. Give me a second. I just need to look it up real quick. Which looks something like this. Pretty sure you guys saw it in the, in the previous video. And <clears throat> so, like I said, I'm just going to comment on them. If I miss any, remember to comment them below. Like if I didn't, that I didn't mention that you feel a gentleman should do, make sure, you, like I said, comment it on the comment box so you let us know. So I stopped at 15, so we're picking up at 16. 16, stay groomed. Very easy, you know. Actually, it, this doesn't even have pertain to a gentleman, just men or human beings in general, just stay well groomed. If you're gonna keep a beard, you know, keep it trimmed or, you know, keep it groomed. Don't make it all dirty and just grow out without, you know, any type of style. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, all crazy. Same thing with the hair, you know, keep it groomed basically and yourself you know smelling good your clothes nicely pressed or whatever all right uh 17 admit when you're wrong and this is hard for a lot of people basically they don't like they can't admit when they've done something wrong and really it'll just make you a better man you know a better person to admit your mistakes you'll learn from them you know and people like that you know it's more respectable than uh, actually say start lying and saying you know not admitting to your mistakes all right number 18 always make the first move you're the man this one pertains to when you're approaching a woman basically you're the man you make the first move they shouldn't have to do the work you know it's just that's how it is you know you got to show you're interested interested so they can sh you know respond back basically um, number 19 Handwritten thank you cards aren't outdated. Use them. I'm not gonna lie, I don't use them. I actually have never used them, but that's because I'm young and really I don't have much to use it for. But my brother, on the other hand, he's older and he has used them. And basically, when you're in the work for like field, uh, just sending a thank you card, I don't know, to your boss for anything or anything that you can think of that you would email them instead, write it out. It shows that. You actually are grateful, you know, you actually put an effort to write it out. So use a, a thank you card, you know, it's unexpected. People like that. Um, Shivery's not dead. There's just too many boys. Very easy. There's not enough gentlemen. Everybody's stuck in the boy stage. They're not chivalrous. They don't know how to act right. Good thing you're watching my video, though, because I'm teaching you right now how to be a gentleman. So, all right, now where are we at? 21. It is said that you can tell a lot through a man's handshake, so make it strong and firm. All right. When we say strong, I mean relatively. You don't want to choke the other guy's hand, right? This is not a strength contest. You want to lock in, do like three handshakes. I'd say you don't want to stay there for like five minutes. You know, lock in, strong and firm. You don't want to do it flimsy either because that's just feminine. All right. So you just have to find that balance, right? Don't choke the guy's hand, and then don't. Be all flimsy, all right? So where are we at? Number 22, leave her breathless. Basically, we're gentlemen, all right? We make statements. And when you're, when you have that woman, you know, don't be boring, all right? You're, just because you're a gentleman doesn't mean you're boring. You leave her breathless, you know, wanting more. That's what we're here. That's what we are, you know, what we represent, gentlemen. So make sure, leave her breathless. Do the unexpected, all right? <clears throat> Number 23, judge no one, just improve yourself. This one goes along with my first video when I said, you know, don't compare yourself to other people, right? Don't judge them. You don't know what they've been through, all right? You just know what you've been through and make yourself better, you know, overcome, keep progressing, you know, keep making yourself better, add knowledge, you know, update your wardrobe. That is concluding making yourself better, you know, uh, just be a better person overall. All right, all right, where are we at? Number 24, speak your mind, don't hesitate. Many men have trouble with this, you know, speaking up and saying what they believe or, you know, something they have to say, they just don't say because they're afraid of their repercussions. But really, first, it will just make you stronger because you're overcoming that fear, you know, and second, and if it goes wrong, at least you tried, and if it doesn't, you win. So always speak your mind, you know, don't stay quiet, you know, you're a man. Speak up, 
right? Say what you have to say. It doesn't have to be a fist fight or anything, but just say what you have to say. All right, where, okay, number 25, offer your arm to a lady while walking. They'll feel secure. So basically with, with your girlfriend, your wife, you know, whatever lady you have, when you're walking down the street, just offer your arm, arm you know, it's like kind of a sign of protection. You know, she wraps around that, she feels secure. You're the man, you're supposed to act, you know, be that protection for her. So offer your arm, you know, they'll like that. Okay, number 26, you're the man, you pay. Again, when you're the, with, with a lady, you always pay, all right? Now, don't be, like, stuck up about it or, you know, that you won't ever let a girl pay. You have to, you know, like, maybe if they want to give you, like, if they're, it's like a gift, you know, and she really wants to pay for, you know, let her pay. But that's, you know, once in a blue moon. That shouldn't be happening all the time. You're the man, you pay for almost everything, okay? So, number 27, women love compliments, gentlemen provide them, basically, you know. Everybody knows women love compliments, and gentlemen are here to provide them, you know, make them feel better. So, give them compliments. 28, never wear your hat indoors, it's disrespectful. <clears throat> so, basically, when you're indoors, if you're wearing a baseball cap or whatever, take it off. I mean, there's no sun, so there's no use for it. Take it off, it's disrespectful. Okay, number 29, make sure everyone has their plate before you start eating. This one, you wouldn't believe how many people don't do this. You know, maybe they think it's outdated or they just don't know about it. But usually when you go to a restaurant, they serve plates at a diff different rates, you know, basically because they cook differently. You know, some cook quicker than others. And just because you get it first doesn't mean you start eating first. You know, you should wait for everybody to get their plate, then you start eating. It's respectful, you know. You just... People will respect you, you know, just, it's a nicer thing to do. Wait for everyone. Especially if you're going to somebody else's house. Just because you, for some reason, you get served first doesn't mean you eat first, you know. You have to wait for everyone, including the, the owner of the house, to get served. Then you start eating, all right? So do that one. And then 30, our last one. This is more like a statement, but this is my favorite one. All right, so it states, we don't always have to be the center of attention, but when we but we are always noticed. It is our signature as gentlemen to come, make a statement, leave, and be remembered. So basically, just, you know, you're not always gonna be the social hub, you know, the person everybody's gonna be talking about, but you are supposed to make a statement, you know, be noticed, all right? Don't be annoying and obnoxious about it either, you know? Just, believe it or not, your clothes have, has a lot to do with this statement. Know, how you look, how you present yourself, people will remember you, be rememberable, okay? So, I mean, that's basically it for our 30 rules. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if, like I said, if I missed anything, make sure you comment below, like, some rules you guys believe a gentleman should follow. Comment below, and I'll make sure to read them. Uh, like this video if you did, and remember to subscribe. I try to put out videos every week. Thank you for watching.